Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. Hopefully you finished with a really nice gain on Friday, a nice little reset from the downtrend that we've been kind of going through. I am expecting things to get better. Why? Because today is Saturday at the time when I'm recording this video and we just got stimulus news. So there's new stimulus news coming out. There are a lot of you out there who will get a $1,400 check sent to you from the government and hopefully you'll spend it on stocks and we could get this market going. If you were following all the stocks from the top Top seven list then you should have been at a 2.35 percent gain it was a very good day on the market it had some fluctuations that's for sure it took being strong and holding through because man there was a big dip right after market open that came through personally I had a 3.09 percent gain I had some day trades that did very very well for me and month to date if you are following this list closely and you are following the insiders that I recommend you should be at a 0.98 percent gain so far so good year to date personally I am at a 62.27% gain and I'm feeling good about where I'm at even after this market correction ready for the market to continue upwards as we hit new highs I think in the market before I get started if you could do me a favor please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button also if you haven't done so before please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out I personally like to use Weeble as my broker and the reason why I do is it has fantastic scanners and I can trade it as early as 3 a.m. and as late as 7 p.m. Central Time. So that gives me a huge advantage over others who can't trade so early or so late. If you are looking for a powerful broker, please check them out in the description down below. We have a link down there that will get you one free stock when signing up and up to two free stocks when depositing money. We also have this Patreon group and it's well worth checking out if you are looking to be part of a group of investors that are trying to help one another. We have many different levels. We have over 300 members that are part of that group and if you are wanting to be part of it and also learn from other great investors not just me and some of the other strategies that are out there check it out we have a link in the description down below on that also of course I am NOT a financial advisor you should do all of your due diligence ahead of time before investing in any security or investment it's very important that you feel confident about the stocks that you go into I focus on insider activity I've had a ton of success with that over a long period of time I am a stock trader who's had a lot of success in the stock market taking advantage of those insider transactions and so all of the top seven list stocks are stocks that have had insider activity that I find significant all right well let's get to it we got so much to cover this is review day so we're gonna review the week and you know overall the insiders performed very well much better than the market did to be up 0.98 percent this week is quite an accomplishment among those insiders they have been doing very well but let's get to it in the standard room we had five day trades we had one specific that was terrible. But let me go through. Three of them were good and two were not good. So here we go. The first was AMC, sold for a 10.7% gain. Sold SPY for a 12.9% gain, that was options. Sold SPY for a 45% loss, that was options also. Sold SPY again for a 14.1% gain. And then had NEO, unfortunately not respond, held too long and went to zero. Very unfortunate. That can happen with options. That's why I recommend using less than 1% of your portfolio if you are going to day trade options because they can go to zero. That can happen. And unfortunately, that's what happened with NEO this week. So that's three out of five with a 60% win rate, average loss of 21.46%. So not a good week, but we report the good and the bad. And unfortunately, this was not a good week. We've had many good weeks in the past. This was unfortunate for sure, but looking forward to better results results this next coming week. All right, let's get to the top seven and cover all the stocks that were sold this last week in the top seven. I think it's so important to track your trades. And if you're not in the habit of doing that, I recommend you start. It's a really good practice. I track by strategy. So that way I can kind of take a look and see if my strategy is being successful. So here we go. The first is OPK, sold for a 4.96% loss. Sold APLT for a 6.36% loss. Sold M 
for 1.04% gain, sold UPS for a 2.2% gain, sold CNNE for a 0.78% gain, sold LOW for a 6.43% loss, sold DD for a 0.79% gain, sold F for a 2.2% gain, sold GTYH for a 22.65% gain, sold RPRX for an 8.6% loss, sold SCPS for a 20.3% loss, that was 6 out of 11 picks. Now this was a very tough week. Normally, 70% win rate, 3% average gain per pick. That has been my average over the last five years. But unfortunately, this week was six out of 11, a 54% win rate, that's well below normal, and a 1.54% loss per pick, that is way below normal. We hardly ever see a negative result on average. I know next week will be quite a bit better now that stimulus has been announced. I'm expecting a really good green week, so we should see a much improved week this coming week. So hopefully you survived the pain and you got some good deals out there and it's time now to move on and make some money. All right, well, let's go through the top seven and others. We have so many great stocks to cover. Here we go. The first is YAYO and on Friday, it finished down 3.82%. My average in it is $3.83. Since calling this out, it is up 11.75%. This is Rideshare Rental and they are working on a reverse merger and I think that this stock will continue moving upwards. There's been a lot of insider activity activity in this in the past and expecting it to continue upwards. The next stock that's not in the top seven is INCY. This is Insight. On Friday, this finished up. 3.56%, my average in it's $80.49. This has had very significant insider activity. Since calling this out, it is down 0.29%. My price target on this is $90. I do not plan on selling this until it hits $90. I believe it will get there. It was recently above 100, and I think this dip is temporary and it will move upwards. They have had positive phase three results. They also got an FDA priority review on one of their drugs. There's lots of good stuff going on in Insight, and I expect it to continue continue moving upwards. The next is SAII. This is software acquisition. And on Friday, this finished up 1.78%. My average in it's $11.29. It has had massive insider activity, over $21 million of insider purchases. Since calling this out though, it is down 9.12%. It has not performed well with this market downturn, but now I expect that to be over. I think we've hit our bottom on that. So I think this one will continue moving upwards with some force. The next is PRMD. This is Primo Water. And on Friday, this finished up 2.21%. My average in it's $14.64. Since calling this out, it is down 0.99%. It has had a lot of insider activity. Expecting this one to move up. I think it's a good value, especially at this price. And we should see good results this next week. Number seven is SATS. This is Echo Star. And on Friday, this finished up 1.25%. My average in it is $24.28. Since calling this out, it is up 9.74%. The CSO and President bought shares at $23.45. Analysts have an average target price of $36.67. I think that this one's going to do great. It's already done pretty well for us so far. Even though this downturn's been happening, it should be a great week. Number six. VTVT. This is VT Therapeutics. And on Friday, this finished up 7.96%. My average in it is $2.57. Since calling this out, it's down 10.89%. Two directors bought shares in open market. It was very significant. The analysts have an average target price of $6.75. And I'm looking forward to great things out of VTV Therapeutics. Number five. Here we go. STSA. This is Satsuma Pharma. On Friday, this finished down 0.91%. My Average in at six dollars and fifty six cents. Since calling this out, it is down 0.91 percent. Seven million dollar insider buy by RA Capital Management. A uh, very nice size, and so it was really nice to see an institution load up like that, who is actually an owner, a 10 percent owner. I've had a lot of success with those, where 10 percent owners have gone in big. This stock has a lot of room to run, and so I think Satsuma is going to be a great stop. Number four is CWH. This is Camping World, and we've had this one in the past quite a bit. About six months ago, there was a lot of insider insider activity. So we kept buying it and we kept buying it. And every three to five days, we're making like five to 10 to 20% on it. So this one here has some more insider activity again. On Friday, this finished up 3.83%. My average in it's $32.25. Since calling this out is up 2.68%. And the RV group is buying shares in open market again. Analysts have an average target price of $41.50. All right, number three is IHRT. This is iHeartRadio. And on Friday, 
it has finished up 4.37%. My average in it's $15.10. Since calling this out, it is now barely up, but it is up 2.30% after a down week. I feel good about that. And Robert Pittman, CEO, is buying shares in open market. Analysts have an average target price of $14.86. I'm expecting a review or someone to come out with a new target. All right. Number two is ADC. This is Agree Realty. And on Friday, this finished up 2.24%. My average in at $63.40. Since calling this out, it is up 1.69%. The CEO and director both went in on shares on real estate during these times. I found that to be very bullish. And so looking for good things out of that. Number one is XOM. This is Exxon Mobil. And this finished up another 3.78%. My average in at $56.56. Since calling this out it is up 7.73 percent and if you want to get in right when we do it's important to be part of that patreon group because you get those notifications and also get to see my portfolio and my plan for how i trade these a director buying shares and also opec is keeping production numbers low which should unfortunately increase oil prices and increase our prices at the pump which really helps out exxon mobile because they've been too low for too long analysts have an average target price on this of 81 dollars so there's some really nice upside on Exxon Mobil. I expect it to continue to move upwards this next week. I wish all of you the best on the stock market and I look forward to bringing you new content. I have so many great ideas and also my team working on different ideas for different videos and such, not just these top seven videos. I wish you all the best and Raytoven out.